Based on statistics from the United States Department of Justice, 99.8% of children reported missing are located both alive and unharmed. In virtually every instance, those children have run away voluntarily or become lost and not, in fact, been abducted. In cases of abduction, the U.S. Office of Juvenile Justice suggests that fewer than one in four are carried out by a stranger and most are carried out by a non-custodial parent. As an example of these statistics, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police reported in 2014 that there were 41,342 cases of missing children. Of those incidents, only 29 were the result of a stranger abduction, while 122 were the result of a parental abduction. In 1987, Jermaine Allen Mann was one year old and visiting his father, Allen Mann Jr. His mother, Lyneth, had primary custody, but Allen had visitation rights. Both lived in Toronto. Jermaine was spending a June weekend with his father, and neither has been seen since. Lyneth and Alan Mann were both born outside Canada before making their ways there separately and eventually marrying in 1982. Lyneth was born in Jamaica and Alan in Ghana, though both became Canadian citizens. On September 6, 1985, their only son, Jermaine Alan Mann, was born. However, Lyneth and Alan's marriage did not last long past Jermaine's birth. They separated in 1986, and after a custody battle and divorce, Lyneth was granted sole custody while Alan was allowed weekend visitations. In summer of 1987, Lyneth decided she wanted to take Jermaine back to her native Jamaica for a visit, and the courts granted her permission for this trip. As a result, though, Alan was granted an extra weekend visit. On June 24, 1987, Lyneth took Jermaine to a third-party location that had been approved by the court, where Jermaine was picked up by his father. Alan and Jermaine then vanished and haven't been found since. Lyneth hasn't seen her son in over 30 years. The Toronto police began investigating immediately. Though it was revealed that Alan implied he would go back to Ghana, the investigation suggests otherwise. Though the trail went cold, authorities believe that Alan and Jermaine are still in North America. Alan Mann Jr. was known to have contacts and relatives in the United States, specifically the Eastern Seaboard, notably New York, and the Los Angeles area. It is, however, possible that Alan did take Jermaine back to Ghana through the United States. Though Lynette still holds out a hope that she will one day see her son again, she knows Jermaine may not feel the same way. In an interview with Stephanie Levitz of the Canadian Press, she said, It is common for the other parent to say that a mother or a father is dead. But I'll show him all the things that I still have. I kept them so he can see that I never ever gave up on him. After all this time, honestly, Jermaine could have been told any story. Being abducted at less than two years old, it is extremely unlikely he has any memories of his mother whatsoever. Despite this, they have a right to meet, and a mother has a right, after all this time, to be reunited with her son. Jermaine Allen Mann was born on September 6, 1985, and would be 32 years old at the time of this production. On screen are a photo of Jermaine in 1987 and an artist's rendering of what he might look like at age 31 from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. He was abducted from Toronto, Canada, and is a black male of Ghanese and Jamaican heritage, with black hair and brown eyes. At the time of his disappearance, he was 3 feet tall and weighed 35 pounds, or 91 centimeters in height and 16 kilograms in mass. Jermaine had a small birthmark on his left foot. A DNA comparison to his mother is available. The alleged abductor is Alan Mann Jr., Jermaine's father. On screen is a photo of Alan Mann and an artist's rendering of what he might look like at age 64. Today, Alan Mann would be 65 years old. He was born on September 24, 1952. He is a black male born in Ghana, but a Canadian citizen. He was 5 foot 9 inches tall and weighed 146 pounds in 1987, or 175 centimeters and 66 kilograms. He had a pierced right ear. Man had scars on his leg, hand, and the back of his neck. 
He was a certified draftsman and could conceivably have continued working in that field. He had known contacts in the United States Eastern Seaboard, specifically the New York area, as well as the Los Angeles area. A potential motive for Mann's alleged abduction of his son could have been his ex-wife's upcoming holiday to Jamaica. It is possible that Mann thought Lineth intended to take Germain to Jamaica and in turn abduct him, perhaps never to return to Canada despite the court orders. Statistics from the Hague Convention on the Civil Aspects of International Child Abduction do suggest that 68% of abducting parents where the child is taken across international borders were, in fact, the mother. This motive, however, is purely speculation since man has never been located and no motive has been found or at least released for the kidnapping. So far, at least one person has come forward to be tested as a possible match for Jermaine Mann, a young man in Ghana who believed he had been kidnapped in Canada as a child. Though DNA proved he was not Jermaine, the fact that this man came forward in 2013, 26 years after the kidnapping, means that hope is still alive. In that same article, linked in the description below, Lineth expressed her love for her son and her desire for him to know that he has always had a mother who loved him and wanted to be part of his life. If you have any information regarding the location of either Jermaine Allen Mann or Allen Mann Jr., please contact the Missing Children's Society of Canada anonymously at 1-800-661-6160 or your local law enforcement. Please bear in mind with your comments that these are real stories about real people and treat them with the respect that they and their families deserve. If you have any information to offer regarding this case, the contact details can also be found in the description below. Someone out there knows the truth. I only hope that someday they come forward. Thank you, and good night.